and I hope I don't look that much older this week from a couple of weeks ago. I certainly feel it after uh, Saturday. Um, but uh, still here and, and still here this week, so that means good things are happening with the women's soccer program. Uh, we went down to Columbia, Missouri on Saturday uh, for the first round of the NCAA tournament um, and uh, defeated the University of Missouri in a pretty exciting uh, penalty kick solution at the end of the game. Um, we scored first in the first half. It was pretty windy and, and certainly a, a game of, of two halves. Um, we scored uh, probably about halfway through the first half. A uh, great goal by Ali Osoba, who's certainly been coming through for us here um, of late. And um, and then really had to weather the storm. They got the wind at their back in the second half. And it's a pretty athletic team that likes to play balls pretty long. So the wind certainly helps them. And they put you under pressure. And um, we said going into the game at some point we would have to weather the storm, that there would be a, a time where Missouri really came at us and threw things forward. And, and that was certainly the case in the second half. They scored a great goal about midway through the second half. Um, a young woman got free on the, the left flank and, and hit a rocket that hit the inside of the the right post about crossbar height. Um, nothing Steph Pinozo could do about it. And uh, so it was 1-1 and it stayed that way through regulation, through two very heartbreaking overtimes. Um, we had a, a breakaway chance to finish. They had several chances um, to finish and, uh, and and no one got the goal in overtime. So it went into penalty kicks and uh, penalty kicks right now, Steph Pinozo owns. Um, we won the toss and chose to kick second. Um, Missouri player got up and Steph makes the first save. And when you start a penalty kick shootout um, on the road with a save by your goalkeeper, it certainly gives uh, gives you confidence. And you could see in the body language of the Missouri team, there was you know dejection sort of right from the get-go. Um, Taylor Peterson, one of our freshmen, stepped up and buried hers. Um, Steph then steps, skips into the um, goal mouth from the side of the goal and uh, proceeds to save the second one. And um, I think at that point, Missouri really felt like their backs were against the wall. Um, we made our second one. Um, their third kicker steps up and actually hits the crossbar. So we now just have to make one of the next three. And uh, freshman Alina Wycamp buries the third. So um, it was a quick um, set of PKs. And, and the, the overtime was more um, challenging on my heart than the PKs were, to be honest. Um, but that um, sends us on into the next round. And we are headed to Chapel Hill. Uh, my alma mater to take on the Tar Heels, um, which is always fun. Um, in 2008, we defeated Missouri in penalty kicks in the second round to go on and play Carolina. So there's a lot of deja vu feeling uh, Saturday and certainly heading into Chapel Hill. Um, we'll leave town here on Wednesday, train there Thursday, and compete against the Tar Heels on Friday. And uh, if we were to win that game, we'd play the winner of the Georgetown-Baylor game, who will also be hosted there in Chapel Hill for um, the second round in the Sweet 16. So really looking forward to headed back to Chapel Hill and, and taking on a very good Tar Heel team. Just the adversity you've had to overcome, um, I mean, obviously with you and V being gone at the beginning of the season, but now with what you experienced in the Big Ten tournament and then at Missouri, just how much more confident are you in your team and, and what does that say about you guys going forward? Uh, you know, there, there's two things I can say about this team is, is I don't know that I've, I've coached a team that has this kind of fight in them and, and the kind of heart that they've played with. Um, and also a team that will take tactical information and, and do what they need to do to, to find ways to win. And, um, you know, those two things in combination, I think, have really uh, made us successful towards the end of the season. And um, I think the adversity sort of maybe what has hardened um, this team and allowed them to weather the storm and, and to fight and battle. And, uh, you know, I think adversity does that. It, it can either make you crack or it can make that crack really solid. And, and for this team, it certainly has solidified us. And we're taking that solid team into postseason and, and trying to take it as far as we can. Jared, I don't think we've lost a PK shootout in about four seasons. Uh, talk about uh, some of the preparations you've made as a coaching staff and as a team to uh, be a, a, so effective in those situations. Well, uh, you know, I think it's 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 the one situation in soccer that's pretty repeatable. Um, you know, there's not too many situations in soccer where um, it's a, a repeatable closed chain kind of thing. So, you know, I, I think the thing we've done is try to give them repetition and try to put them in a situation where they can be confident. And the the thing about that right now is I think we have a goalkeeper who 
has the right mindset going into penalty kicks. Um, she was asked in the press conference at Missouri what it was like to carry the weight of the shoulder on her teams going into penalty kicks, and she said it's exactly the the opposite. Um, the weight of the, the team is actually on the shooters, and, you know, my job is to make it as difficult on them as possible. If they hit it right, I can't save it. But if they don't, then it's my job to save those penalty kicks. So I go in as loose as I can, and like I said, if you saw her, she skipped her way into the penalty box and, and, and does her job. And when you've got a team and you see that kind of attitude from your goalkeeper I think the team has some confidence in it so it's certainly a situation that we go into with some confidence and have had some success and um, you know the challenge now is now that we've done it a couple times I'm sure the, the video is out there so you know we've got to now make sure that we've got more players that are willing and, and ready to step up and do that and I think we've got that in our squad what's the skinny on Carolina um, you know, it's a talented team. Um, three of those players were actually with us in Japan. So I've worked with three of them over here, uh, you know, in the in recently. Um, it's an athletic team. It's a deep team. Um, it's a, a typical Carolina team from that standpoint, I think. Um, you know, they've got quite a few players that are scoring goals, so they've spread their goal scoring out um, quite a bit. And uh, I think it'll be a team that we'll have to really work hard to defend. Um, you know, uh, different than Penn State, I think, in, in terms of uh, their their, their goal scoring is a little bit more spread out, so I think it will will test our defense from from side to side and front to back. But um, you know, certainly a team that uh, has has had some losses. Um, you know, they finished fourth or fifth in the ACC this year and um, weren't the ACC champs regular season or in, in the conference tournament. So um, certainly going into Chapel Hill with the expectations that that this is a team that if we we bring our best, um, we've got a chance. I think this team feels like on, on any given day, if they do the things that they can control and, and battle, that they can make things happen. And we certainly feel that way go, going into Chapel Hill. You, you beat Penn State, another top seed in the tournament. Can you use that win as a building block to take on another top seed in Carolina? Absolutely. I think it's a, a game like that that gives you that confidence, that gives you the confidence that on any given day, and, and that was a team that you know had beaten us 4 to nothing earlier in the year. And I think it we use that to show how far we've come as a team, but also to show that uh, when we get out and fight and do the things that we're capable of doing, that on any given day we can beat any team. And anytime you get into the NCAA tournament, you can't look at how many games you have to win. Um, I've always told my team, I'll put you up against any team on any given day, and we can win one soccer game. And, you know, we're going into Chapel Hill saying we've got to win one soccer game. Our seniors are saying every win we, we have gets us one more game to play. And I think that's the attitude they're battling with, and that certainly has served them well as well. Thank you.